Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the thermal decomposition of ammonium perchlorate by using copper powder as a catalyst. Check this out. All we're using in this investigation is a ring stand, a crucible. This is ammonium perchlorate, and this is 100 mesh copper powder. Begin by measuring out four grams of ammonium perchlorate. Next, measure out half a gram of copper powder. For safety, we'll prepare this mixture behind a blast shield on a flame blanket. So one thing to consider before you combine your copper powder with your ammonium perchlorate is during this reaction, the copper powder really depends on its particle size. So if you're using 100 mesh, during the reaction, it'll become copper oxide. And that copper ion will penetrate the lattice, decreasing the amount of activation energy necessary to decompose ammonium perchlorate. So be very careful to keep your mixture dry. Don't let any moisture get into your mixture and definitely mix it using the diaper method. Just pour it back and forth behind a blast shield on a flame blanket because you could have accidental thermal decomposition while you're mixing it. So you have to be very careful in this reaction. And now you're ready to start mixing the two powders together. Again, just pour this back and forth. Never grind this mixture with a pestle. Just gently pour it back and forth until you get a nice homogenous mixture. You should see a little bit of copper in the mixture. It begins to look like this. You get a nice mixture, you can pour it into your crucible. And now we're ready to deflagrate our mixture. Here we go. Here's the balanced equation for this amazing thermal decomposition reaction using copper as a catalyst. We begin with ammonium perchlorate and copper oxide. We have two moles of ammonium perchlorate. That's the two NH4ClO4 and copper oxide. That's the CuO. Now remember copper works as a catalyst in that it lowers the amount of activation energy necessary to decompose the ammonium perchlorate. And we get the products nitrogen, water, chlorine, oxygen, and copper. We have the diatomic molecule of nitrogen, that's N2, four moles of water, that's the 4H2O, the diatomic molecule of chlorine gas, that's Cl2, the diatomic molecule of oxygen is O2 and copper, Cu, in this amazing reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.